you guys listen up like seriously go get a pen and paper and some popcorn because i have a story to tell you how i lost drum roll please <laughs> how i lost 20 pounds in one month with no exercise 20 pounds one month no exercise if you guys are interested in losing weight without struggling without trying to eat on a calorie deficit trying to exercise and do cardio like crazy you are on the right video because i am gonna help you if you're ready let's get into the video where do I begin? I had just had my second child. Um, I was a stay-at-home mom at the time and I really had, I had no access to the gym at all. I lived full-time in an RV in 32 feet of space, you guys. So it's not like I had a bunch of room to run around and jump and do all kinds of things. But we were full-time RVing at the time with our two children. So I really had no space. I also had no time because my time was devoted to taking care of my newborn, breastfeeding, and I just had like just no energy and no know-how of how to even lose weight with those kind of circumstances. I had 20 pounds that I wanted to get off and I didn't know exactly what I was gonna do, how I was gonna do it. I just knew I just had to lose that last little stubborn fat. It was just so irritating, you know what I mean? So um, you guys probably understand. But yeah, so I was just really, really like frustrated and I was just like, I didn't know what I was gonna do because I wasn't going anywhere. I was at home all the time. And, um, my husband was at work in the daytime, I was at home. So I just didn't have that time or access. And into my cousin, she had lost about 30 plus pounds just by doing the keto diet, you guys. So I didn't know anything about keto at the time, but when she said she had lost 30 pounds and um, just by changing her diet, I was just like, okay, sold. Where do I start? Where do, where do I sign the dotted line? <laughs> let's, let's start this because I really need to lose this weight. I just, it was just killing me, you know? Let me tell you one thing, you guys, with keto. Do not do keto if you have no clue what you're doing. You have to study before you begin because you could really, really have some health problems down the line. And just to let you guys know, I'm no health professional. I have no license or anything to um, for any um, training or nutrition. This is just my story. I'm just telling you guys what I did to successfully lose 20 pounds in one month with no exercise. Um, that was a side note, a little disclaimer. My cousin had told me to basically just go watch Dr. Berg's videos and learn as much as I can about keto. And then once I felt comfortable, just begin. So I did that. I, that's all I did. I just, I watched millions and millions of, of, of his videos and he thoroughly explains why we're overweight, why we have problem areas and trouble areas and cellulite and why we, all these, and all the real reasons why we're overweight. And like, you really understand the science behind everything. So he did such a good job at it that when I began, at least I wasn't just doing it just like another program. Like you understand what you're doing. So that's the one thing I would tell you guys before you even begin keto, you need to study it and really understand what you're getting into. You have to know what you're doing because you could really hurt yourself. I didn't start drastically just overnight, I'm eating only two meals a day, only below 50 carbs. No, no. When I started, you guys, you have to start in baby steps because it's, it's your body is changing from eating one way to a whole new way and living off of low carb. And when I'm telling you guys low carb is a struggle when you first begin, your body is not going to be used to it. So when you're getting into this diet, you want to make baby steps to what you're doing. Any little thing, any little change you make is going to help you down the line. I'm going to give you like kind of an outline of what I did. Um, if you guys want more details of what I did, please leave some comments below and I will I will answer your questions and get into more details in the later videos. But I pretty much basically followed what Dr. Berg, Berg's advice on what I should do to get started. I pretty much just started with intermittent fasting. I ate two meals a day to three meals. I alternated between two to three meals a day. Because I was breastfeeding, um, I didn't want to go extreme keto. 
as much as I wanted to um, because I had to make sure my milk supply was still full and I didn't want any problems feeding my daughter. And so I had had around 50, I think it was around 50 carbs a day, a little bit more, give or take, you guys. I did the intermittent fasting. I followed the meals. I ate the specific kind of meals that helped me lose weight. And if, like I said, if you want those details, please blow up those comments. I will make some detailed videos on what exactly I ate. But right now I'm just giving you guys a little overview. I'm not gonna lie. Every single weekend, I ate whatever I wanted. <laughs> I, I didn't even stick to this diet 100% for a month and I still saw the results. I'm not even kidding you guys. I would only do the keto diet for the whole week and then the weekend, I just ate carbs. I ate whatever I wanted. I didn't, I didn't even hold myself back. I ate whatever I wanted. Just to let you know, when you start keto, you're gonna run into something that you might not like, but it's just a process of your body changing its way of um, processing the nutrients, okay? So when you first start keto, you are gonna get the keto flu. And if you haven't heard of that, let me just tell you, it's just like having the flu. Um, sometimes people get it worse than others. For me, I felt like I was dying and I, I was so weak. I didn't feel good. You are gonna lose a lot of water weight, a lot of electrolytes from your body. And that gives you, it makes you feel like you're kind of sick. It's called the keto flu. Um, sometimes it lasts for like a day. It may last longer for um, other individuals, depending on your body. For me, it would last around like a day or so, but it felt like you had the flu. Like it is what it says, like the name, keto flu. That's what it is. But I was the one who liked to enjoy my eating every weekend. I didn't even care. I didn't even care that that next Monday, I'm gonna have to go through the whole cycle of getting back into ketosis, being on the keto flu, getting, I don't know why I did that to myself, you guys. I, to be honest, I don't know why. I just, I like to enjoy my weekends. Let me just tell you that. But I still lost the weight. Like, even though I'm not saying you guys should do this, I'm not saying you should cycle off keto every weekend. I'm just telling you what I did back then, and I, I still saw the results. That's, that is the power of keto. It's, you, I've never been able to lose weight like this with anything. Like, it just drives me crazy, counting calories, eating at a deficit. I, I just, that, that is like, I just couldn't do it. I didn't see results, I didn't stick to that. So this is a diet where you're eating food that tastes so good, it's fat, but it's not unhealthy fat. You're eating high fat foods. You're eating really satiating, satisfying foods. Um, you don't feel deprived, you're full. And there's just so many, so many benefits to keto. Like you are just, you're not hungry. You're eating less, you're burning fat. Like why wouldn't you wanna do keto? <laughs> Everything else to me is more torturous than this. Like. And I'm, I'm gonna tell you this, keto is not for everybody. I'm not saying everyone needs to do keto just to see the results. A diet is something that you can consistently stick to to see results, that is it. If you can't stick to this diet, if you don't wanna make the changes, necessary changes, if you don't wanna learn how to do keto, if you don't wanna learn how to meal prep your food properly, like you're gonna struggle. It's not gonna be easy for you. My suggestion is, <laughs> Pick a diet that you can stick to. For me, nothing else worked. I, I couldn't, the calorie counting, the deficit eating, all that stuff never worked for me. I never, I just, I still struggle to this day doing that. Keto to me is just like, like the holy grail of diets. Like if you wanna see the results, I mean, just do keto, that's it. Back to me cheating all the time. Like I cheated every weekend and I still saw the results, you guys. Like that's how powerful keto is like you literally change how you're eating you change the carbs and it's not this diet is not something you have to do forever i've learned that down the line once your body is used to fat burning you can go back to eating carbs on some days and kind of and then it will cycle back to burning fat and running off of your sugars your body will be able to jump in and out of ketosis um, so 
down the line, you can introduce carbs back again and you can do that. And then you could cycle back into ketosis. Like your body will get used to it. I stuck to the diet for around two months. Life started getting a little crazy, a little hectic, but I actually ended up keeping my weight off. It didn't come back. Like most diets, you one as soon as you quit that diet, you gain all the weight back, like and and more, right? Um, but for me, I actually had kept that weight off even after going back into eating carbs and eating my normal diet again, or a non-keto diet. It actually was sustainable. It actually, I even kept the results even after. So that's the good news about keto. When I went around my friends and family, they noticed a change. Like everyone was asking me what I was doing. How did I lose the weight? What do they have to do? My friends um, that were asking me about losing weight, they actually took steps to doing keto and saw results themselves. My aunt decided to do keto and she's lost so, so, so much weight, you guys. Like everyone around me started noticing the results and like they went out and did it themselves. Like they were just like, what did you do? I'm gonna do it too. So it's powerful. It's really powerful. It, it will change your life if it's something that you can stick to. Once I started working, my schedule, my sleep schedule started changing, my eating started changing. Um, I was working a very um, physically demanding job and I started drinking energy drinks. And that is, surprisingly, that is the time when I actually started noticing my weight just going crazy. It was at a rate I've never seen before. Because right before that, before I started drinking caffeine, because I had never, I didn't drink caffeine. I wasn't a coffee drinker. I wasn't an energy drink person at all. I barely drank soda. But when I had gone back to work and I needed the energy to like function each and every day because I was so tired, I started drinking coffee. I started drinking energy drinks. And then for me, that's about the time I started noticing my weight starting to creep up. Currently, right now, you guys, I am 30 pounds overweight. And it may not look like it. Everyone holds fat differently in their body. So the whole reason why I'm making this channel, the whole reason why I'm making this video is to let you know, I'm going to bring you guys along my journey of losing this weight. I'm going to take you guys back to what I did the first time. And I'm also going to show you guys new and improved ways of losing weight because I'm not playing. I'm 35 years old. I am not trying to lose my shape and I'm sure you aren't either. Let me know in the comments below if you guys like if you guys agree with me because just because we're in our 30s doesn't mean we have to lose it all. Like no, we're going to maintain our bodies and be as healthy as we can be until the day we die. So if you guys are ready to come on the journey with me and learn how to do what I did and actually see even better results because I'm going to be posting videos for you guys to give you guys all the ins and outs of what I did and what I'm currently doing and what I'm doing better this time. So I have a lot of videos for you guys in store. If you guys have any questions that you guys want me to go in detail with anything, please leave all your questions and comments below. I really want to help not only myself change, I want to help you guys change because nothing's better than helping other people. Like, yeah, I could lose weight and it's just for myself, but to see you guys change and to help transform your lives, that is going to be, mean so much more to me than me even losing this weight. So I'm not just doing this for myself. I'm also doing this to help you guys. So if you guys want to connect with me, please email me. Don't be afraid to talk to me. I love talking. I love answering questions. I want to make in-depth videos for you guys on specific things that you guys need help with. It's time. It's time to lose that weight. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you like and subscribe and comment below and hit that notification bell so you guys do not miss a single video. So have a good one. Stay tuned.